Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. Outside edition, mother suckers! That's Mike. I'm Mike. Uh, what are we drinking? We're drinking a beer from the Six Point Brewing Company. Six Point Brewery. And Six this flags. is your Oktoberfest. It is the Marzen Lager. And right. uh, this beer comes courtesy of our good friend, Jordan. Keep it funky you're beer with you. are in the right. Yeah, son. Um, sorry about all the shadows. I know. Oh, what's up? What are you, shit? So we're gonna review this beer, and then we got a little sausage to go oh, with it. Oh, buddy. Some Wisconsin sausage. We wouldn't come outside for less than sausage. Yes. Oh, that looks like straight up pumpkin water. Uh, it is that fall season. Obviously. I mean, look at it out here. Yeah. Lawn mowers are mowing. Suns are showing. All right, so and that looks boys good. are hanging. Yeah. All right. That looks pretty good. Oh, that's, um, oh my gosh, that looks pretty good. Sort of Super amber. I wanted to move the camera. Mike didn't want to. I'm the one that moved it. Um, that looks like a really nice fest stars in. Yeah. It's that time of season, so we're in October. Uh, we didn't even say. Um, oh, was there any other? Yeah. I just gloss over it. It's October. Yeah, there's a bunch of writing on the, Oh my gosh, look at that lock code. Best Buy. January. 2025, we're good. January, yeah, so about six Huzzah. months. So they probably made this in July. Uh, ABV, 6%. Okay. So there you go. I thought they are going to be assholes and not put the ABV on. Not six flags. <laughs> Point, whatever. All right. Uh, uh, it smells bready, multi fruity, less stone fruit, a lot of raisin. Smells it smells really good. Oh, it's not Cheers. Thanks, Jordan. Oh yeah, crisp, nice little body to it, kind of a medium body. A little creamy with the carbonation. Has a slight allspice kind of character. Yeah, yeah. nutmeggy it's not, kind it's of. It's not just nutmeg, it's not just cinnamon, it's not just brown sugar, it's all of the spices. All of the spices. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it's it's a marzen. It's it's, it's a spicy, serviceable marzen. A bit floral with that citrus kind of character. It's hard to really back set. by that sweet malt. It's hard to set a marzen festival. Yeah, hard. Yeah, I mean, but you, you know, what, you know what would set it apart? Hmm. If we had a nice food pairing to go I with it, I wish we did. Oh wait, we do. Because oh. we cook some oh. wonderful sausages on the grill from where? From Costanza sausage. Oh man, so the we're gonna pair this with the Wisconsin sausage. All right, and the Wisconsin sausage. Is brewed with or made with beer, it's brewed. peppers, onions, and cheese. So we'll try it on its own, and yep. then to go with it, I got some wonderful oh. in the shadow. There, there it is. Here, stand back. You got a wiener. Uh, pair it with some wonderful Cleveland Mustard Company. Uh, they're the Cleveland Ketchup Company. The mustard what Company. Uh, the Game Time Mustard. This mustard. Rocks. All right. Let's let's give it a try. All right. Oh. It has no right being as good as it is. So Costanza is a local butcher in Webster, New York. You love processing, game processing. Dude, they make every sausage in my time. They make a garbage plate sausage in my time. They make a Tony Soprano family sausage, which is his favorite sub, the Capicola sub and all that, mm -hmm. and a sausage. It's a wizard. Stop. Think about um, this. this is so, like, it's... I think it's going to pair perfectly with the studio. Oktoberfest is made Absolutely. to pair with sausage. Anything else is ridiculously like it's sweet. The sausage, much like the beer, is it's got a fruity taste to it. Um, we said it in the last sausage review. It's uh, it's more of a light and fluffy sausage. Not, not that it needs it, but I just want to add a bite. Oh, I, I want some. Yeah. Look like animals. Oh, you know, mm. No. Game time mustard. Provides a nice tangy mm. up front. Kind of sweet honey mustard. But then it comes in with that spicy brown mustard. That like spicy brown mustard mustard kick in the back. Really kind of. And then you wash it all back. 
the, the, the maltiness and the biscuity undertones of that, the, you know, the spicy margarine. Nice six point margarine. Wow. What do you rate the beer, Mike? Like I said before, it's hard to set these things apart. So, I mean, it's a very serviceable Marzen. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'll give it a 3.5. Okay. It, and that's not disparaging the beer. It's good. It's serviceable. 3.5. Yeah. I can drink it all day. Um, I'll be able to give it like a 3.4. Okay. Okay. Talk, uh, talk to me about the sausage, though. Uh, I mean, the sausage. It's just so, you could, you could power this all day. It is. Oh, I could pound sausage all day. Oh, boy. If you me. Um, love the ass meats. It's. It's so juicy and fresh. Um, it, it, talk about the beer not setting itself apart. The sausage definitely sets itself apart. Amazing. Well, what's the the beer, the cheese, apple mm onions? -hmm. Everything's good about it's it. It's like Destiny is set us up here. Um, or right. just dancing. Pairing. Get yourself some Six Point Brewing Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite butcher? Hopefully they make sausage as good as this. I, I doubt it. Um, until <laughs> then, we'll catch you next time on another episode of As the Beer Scrubs. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.